Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, welcome to Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading April 8th to April 14th uh, 2019 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Gemini star sign and for that reason the reading is going to relate and resonate in a different it's going to relate for a different stuff and it's going to resonate in a different way with uh, <clears throat> every single different Gemini but uh, should you want a more personal touch meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me uh, through tarot and to give you the prediction what is to happen with it for the future just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video that is a, a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing which is starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded reading services and uh, $15 for the private call reading services so that being set aside guys going to the uh, to the Gemini general uh, tarot reading for the week the first card which is marking the topic of Gemini's week that is going to be the page of swords followed by the second card which is uh, regarding to the negative approach to the situation the negative approach to the page of swords situation which is the uh, magician card then it is the third one that will show the positive approach to the situation or intentions aims goals so on and so forth this is going to be the king of swords and the last card which is the final outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of tarot that is going to be the page of pentacles so once again that we do have here it is the uh, page of swords then it is the magician card after that what we do have this is going to be the king of swords and the last one that will be the page of pentacles so uh that is very baffling week to be honest uh the first at, at first when I drew the page of swords really seemed that that will be um, a person you know uh, that will relate to your week but it does look like you guys and how you're gonna tackle with the week itself so uh, going with the first card more in depth here that will be the page of swords the page of swords does represent intellectual agility and as well how one understands the world through their own eyes more like take it as a um, unique vision or an independable thought that you are going to have and it is because you're going to have an independable thought which means that you may differentiate with um, ideas for a certain project or as well uh, wish wishes of how of what kind of enterprises should emerge into one relationship the page of swords could represent some sort of a wrangles disputes uh, conflicts and so on and so forth for the topic of your week the conflicts and the wrangles of the page of swords however leaves none with benefits meaning that they uh, that these conflicts are for something which is not substantial and uh, when one kind of like pushes further with those conflicts one loses the fulcrum of uh, the very core of the situation so take it like you are to one or to wrangle or argue over one thing while something different is developing and you are missing the opportunity to involve yourself into its development but also the page could uh, represent for you that you are to be an apprentice into some into someone or you know someone is going to teach you meaning someone is going to show you the tricks of the trade Take it like you may have a difficulty into a project and a, another colleague of yours, it could show you a, a better, easier way how you are to uh, resolve your issue there or how you are to overcome the challenge itself. The page almost every time this represents a, an unexpected new source of help that is going to come to aid you in order to overcome your plights. The accompanied card with the page that is going to be the two of swords and the formation with these two are a active supporters 
So I, I do lean more to the interpretation of Rangos here with the Two of Swords and it's, with these cards it will be best not to be judgmental and not to judge from the very first glance upon this situation a reason for example um, you know your your partner let's say into a into a relationship serve you a, a certain news about them or about their friends or, or maybe about the relationship itself and without you knowing the, the full picture you know you kind of like burst out because you do have your independable thought and so on and so forth and no one ends up beneficial and with the two of swords here it will be best if you seek a or all facts if i may express myself that way and all circumstances before you actually make up your mind how you should act upon you know your uh, your project or how you should act upon your relationship so we do have uh, for what it seems for you Gemini's a, a week where you have to be extremely intellectual intellectually agile and you have to be very logically oriented as well and uh, uh, with the page of swords and the two of swords as well before you really decide what to do you have to truly consider all points of view and you need to be capable to place yourself into the other's shoes as well. The, uh, the other card that it is marking the negative approach toward the situation, now the magician makes more sense than ever. It does represent, as it does represent personal independence and as well personal sovereignty. It is where one is unyielding about their standpoint and about their opinion as well and uses any kind of uh, means that one has to push their view and to push their well, I don't know how to say it in English but yeah to push their view forward and to push their end of the bargain forward not recognizing that there could have been another way that there could have been a, a better way one to ex exert and execute their projects one to overcome difficulties in general uh, that's why uh, when the magician falls into a negative position it will be best if you consult yourself with everybody that is related to the situation so taking that let's say you do have some plights into your relationship now you have to consult yourself with your partner with your parents you know with your partner's parents and so on and so forth so you know every point of view and before you decide what to do you need to have all points of view as we can um or you need to be aware of all po of all points of view as we saw with uh, with the first cards uh, the accompanied card that is going to be this this star card so we do have another formation here which is a active supporters and uh with that uh, it's uh, how can i place it uh, well, first of all, that is a, a a positive shade here, which points that whatever challenges you are experiencing throughout the week, they could be resolved with the snap of your fingers. Because in the negative position, the star card as a catalyst to the magician, it points that the problem is not as deep as you think it is. And uh, it does not block your hopes as much as you think it does block your hopes and on to, but uh, how can i place it but uh, it will require from you to make a certain compromises and once again to show your uh intellectual um intellectual agility but uh the thing with these couple of cards guys is that as i said you have to be ready to make a compromise that compromise also needs to be according to your um well, I will say to your benefits as well. So this, these cards as well does not speak for a, a foolish compromise, if I may express myself that way, like giving up everything you got, all right? But it has to be a reasonable one. Uh, we do have a lot of airy cards uh, for you. The third card is also in an air card, and that's why one needs to be extremely logically oriented and should not follow their emotions and feelings whatsoever for what it seems with these cards when one follows their emotions uh, it seems that one is going to make a rather quite premature uh, premature decision or a premature move that once again is going to force a rango's confrontations conflicts that nobody needs and you need them the least okay so it's it, it will make your situation more difficult than you actually can know 
Uh, so uh, going to the third card for you Gemini's which is what is the positive action that you can take so the king of swords it does represent in your case analysis the analysis reveals the way out of difficulties and it kind of like strengthens the points of the two of swords with the page of swords here pointing that before you decide what to do you got to consider all points of view but here the additional thing that the cards ask you is to put analysis over it so try to deliberate try to contemplate on the everyone that it is involved into your situation's point of view and that is likely to make the of the right decision that you have to do or the right approach that you have to do toward your project or toward your relationship pretty much obvious at the end of the day and uh the two the the um the two excuse me the king of swords as well asks not to lose your um your presence in a sense of that you are well respected and probably that's why you can get away with your uh, original thought if you decide to push it through but should you rely more on your uh on your position of respect like allowing others to speak their minds and allowing contemplating and deliberating upon their minds as well and somewhat you know not looking like a uh, a tyrannical person uh, and actually listen to the uh, to the good ideas and to good advices that other people are to give you that will kind of like skyrocket you into a very uh, into a place where people will uh, how can i describe it people will honor you if I may express myself that way, so people will kind of have huge respect for you that you actually took your time and listened. The accompanied card here with the King of Swords, that will be the uh, Four of Cups. So the formation is active neutrals and it does look like that uh, the dissolution is buried beneath the emotions. Okay, so as once you stop uh, following your emotions, it's pretty much you are to recognize the right decision because as you can see here the man it is indulged with his emotions incapable to see the right move moving forward with and um, with analyze uh, with analysis over the situation instead of just going with what your intuition is telling you you know um it looks like that you are to gemini you are to foresee the right and appropriate way of action so um and you have to uh, and you have to and you need to have excuse me the uh, the courage to to initiate it as well because with the four of uh, the four of cups as well points that one needs to have a, a very strong mental and a, a very big mental strength okay okay a, a mental strength of high of high amounts which means that one need to put additional efforts to overcome one's emotions no different than uh this kind of situation guys okay let's say that one gemini breaks up with a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend of theirs they know that this relationship did not have any future right they they just just knew that uh, that relationship will never be as a matter of fact that gemini knows that this person is not good for them it's not it's not right for them but because they love them they still you know walking toward that person so th there is a, a big contradictory in between emotions and logic and and thought and mental strength so your mental strength your logic that this person is not good enough for you has to be stronger than your emotions you need to say to, say to yourself stop you it, this is not right what you're doing because you ain't gonna end up happy and so on and so forth, you know, and, and that should be the point where your clear thought wins over the uh, spontaneous, foolish intuition, if I may express myself that way. And so, once you follow all that, uh, the final outcome of growth is a, a person that emerges, uh, that will be the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles represents a, a person with a, a youthful spirit, a, a very youthful person in nature, but somewhat very slow with, uh, with, their, um, with their performance and with their approach. So what that person is going to do for you, well, they are either to dedicate to your idea, meaning that they are going to be a, a very faithful, a, a big faithful follower to your project or to your agenda, 
or they could be a um a suitor of yours maybe you know someone who secretly uh likes you and wants to make a um wants to make an appearance there you know it wants to step out but the problem with the page appearing into this uh, position the final outcome of growth is the page is very meticulous and they ain't gonna step out unless the conditions are a hundred percent right for them okay because they they do have a criteria for conditions and if, if these conditions are not uh, right for them they ain't gonna step out so you may not see someone as a suitor stepping out at the end of the week for your Gemini's, but you should know that there is that person around you. And as a matter of fact, with the page, you very well know them. Uh, when they're going to step out, well, it is very tough to be said. I mean, this person may, may not step out for a month until the, uh, the conditions are right. Uh, and uh, th that is especially true if... Uh, this example is playing out for you you know you you know that uh, the ex that you recently break up or broke up it is not good for you and your mental strain strength wins over the emotions and you stop stop yourself of uh, getting back to your ex either ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend and this person sees you know that you ain't gonna get back together so you are single so they have a room to play you know and they will take the things slowly and the accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, six of cups and this is the formation that these cards are doing is a uh, passive uh, passive uh, passive friends here excuse me so Six of uh, six of cups could play out as a very creative expression. So whatever you do is going to be very exhilarating for that person, or whatever that person does for you, it's gonna make you very very exhilarated. That is in the grand scheme of things. So that person does things into your project or into your agenda, and you very much like that because it makes progress. All right, or if that is your suitor. Well, you need to know with the appearance of the Six of Cups here is that should that suitor step forward, you're going to like them physically and emotionally as well. Because the Six of Cups regarding relationships, it's about physical and emotional uh, and emotional connection on a very generic level. However, in order to make it deeper and deeper, you have to work for it. I mean, you, you need to spend time into these interactions uh, with uh, with that person but in generally at the end just to summarize that in general it is that someone appears you know that it will be a result of your intellectual strength and intellectual agility which is going to be a, a faithful uh, follower or a, um, a a potential suitor of yours that you are going to like very very much so that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, April 8th to April 14th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was your general reading for Gemini star sign. And for that reason, the reading is going to uh, relate to different things and is going to uh, resonate in a different way with every single different Gemini. But if you do want a, your personal reading, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video and to give you a, a prediction for it or what is going to happen with it uh, in the future, what is the potential there, uh, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing.